Okay. All right. So let's just settle into our meditation posture. And maybe just briefly reflect over your day. I mean, do you even remember what you did when you got up this morning? And then bring your mind to the same place your body is, to your cushion. And just before we start, we'll try and get in touch with this stillness that is always available within us. So check your body. Imagine your shoulders are aligned with your sits bones, hands are in either in the meditation mudra, the right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching, or just resting, resting gently on your thighs or your knees, wherever is comfortable for you. Imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light and stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of your head and beyond. So you can imagine somebody has a, a piece of string and they're very gently lengthening your spine, putting some space in between the vertebrae. They're getting longer and the head is very slightly tipped forward. Eyes are down looking along the length of the nose and the tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. And then bring your awareness to the crown of the head and just relax your scalp. Just everything, let everything go. And the, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And the jaw. And the back of the head, just release any tension there. Relax the ears and the inner ear, the back of the tongue. And if you want, you can just kind of stretch out your jaw, wriggle your jaw around. Uh, just release any tension there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then go to the, the back of the neck and relax all the muscles there. Allow your shoulders to drop down, your shoulder blades to drop down, release any tension in your throat, the chest, and the belly, limbs, and the hands and fingers and feet and toes. And then just bring the mind to the breath, noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And if there are any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. And try not to go and investigate with your mind. And then notice what's arising in the mind. So whatever thoughts <clears throat> that are coming up for you right now. Maybe something happened during the day, so maybe you have a parallel conversation going on in your mind next to this meditation practice. So, so just allow that, you know, just don't judge it. Try not to engage with the thoughts, the story. Try not to follow it. Try and put some space in between the thoughts. Give yourself a break. And we can, just like Mingyu Rinpoche suggested, you can put yourself on the bank of the river and just watch that river flow on by. So you're not engaged, you're not in it, you're not wet, you're safe. 
It's the same with the mind. Just allow it to flow. And then we can bring to mind some people, some people who are in our life right now. And there's some people in your life who you are deeply engaged with, deeply committed to, profound relationships with these people. You love them. They could be friends. They could be family. They could be your bestie. They could be your spouses and your children, your mums, dads. And then there's those folk in our life who, you know, they're there. It's difficult for us. Could be a, somebody at work. It could even be a sibling. And then there's those people in our lives who are just complete strangers. Every day I pass someone in the street. And the thing that we never really take into our heart is that what could be going on for that person behind those sunglasses, behind that face? What's going on for them today? And today I heard this man, he's a stranger to me, talking to a friend. And he was saying, oh, you know, well, I've just separated from my girlfriend and I've come up here and she's in Irvine. And he's just talking about it like it's a conversation, but there's pain behind there. So we just never know. People present one way and there's stuff going on underneath. So just be careful with yourselves and others. So we'll do this meditation for all these people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. So the first thing we think of in this meditation is that there is no negativity that can't be purified. And this purification process, it's a psychological one. So we, you know, we create negativity with our mind so we can equally create positivity with our mind. So the first practice we start with is the power of regret. So this is this is uh, Vajrasattva practices in the context of the four opponent powers. And the first of these is regret. So it's regret is not guilt. So we regret from the depths of our heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day or in any past lives, in this life even. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And then in general, we'll regret all. These are the ones you can't even remember. And the reason we're regretting, it's not to beat ourselves up. Like I said, it's not guilt. It's based on this logic of karma. So we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. And having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we can't bear the thought of future suffering that we ourselves will experience. So logically, it makes sense to remove these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So you think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering and also regret our delusions. So our anger and our attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others. And think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to reliance. So we're just relying upon we're kind of almost leaning on this buddha this who we can actually see as a doctor who has the methods that we can use to purify so we're not looking at this buddha vajrasattva as being some kind of higher power that's going to fix it all for us or forgive us so we're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods we're using his methods taking his medicine so vajrasattva imagine is this, if, if the detail is difficult for you, just imagine a ball of light, white light above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is your teacher, your spiritual mentor, your guru, manifesting in this aspect for your benefit. And he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud, just like our enlightened potential, born out of our delusions, but yet untainted by them. <clears throat> you imagine Vajrasapa has this beautiful face, his eyes, long eyes, like shaped like lotus, um, lotus petals, and they're peaceful. 
and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. And the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents a union of these two. And this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we have a little section here. It's part of reliance on compassion. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So we think about the beings we have harmed. So bring someone to mind or something to mind. And just to wish for them to be free from suffering. And then we think about those who have harmed us. This one I think is particularly important because we tend to have resentment and anger towards people who have harmed us. Not always. But really it's that's the only thing that resentment and anger is going to do is harm ourselves, harm you. It doesn't make any difference to the person that harmed you. I mean, you can be careful of them, but... Try and have a sense of compassion for them. That's a wish for them to be free from suffering because the suffering that they've caused you is going to ripen for them sometime down the track. So here we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine. This is doing the practice of purification, and we start with purifying the body. So imagine Bhadrasattva very compassionately now sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart and it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Hanarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mebi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa 
and a recta mebo a sawa city mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa mahasamaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you have ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And just imagine that you could only be of benefit to others with your body. So they feel you walking past them. They see you. They can smell you. So it's all beneficial for their mind. So next to the purification is a speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one item left. So you can just imagine that any gossip and just careless speech and harsh speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with you, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So imagine now your speech is completely purified and there's no way you could do anything other than benefit others with all those sounds that come out of your mouth. So every syllable that falls out of your mouth is a benefit to somebody else, including yourself. So the next is a purification of the mind, and Vajrasattva now very compassionately, very happily sends light this time from his heart chakra, and it arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So the same as when you walk into a room and you switch on a light, that light dispels the darkness. And generally we think that when we're walking into a room and we're switching on a light, we're creating light. We're making light. But actually the way they describe here is we're dispelling darkness. So you can imagine that the moment the light from Vajrasapa's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachment and neediness and anger and, and bitterness and depression and resentment and jealousy, all instantly dispelled as you recite the mantra. 
Om Vajrasapta Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapta Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Karuhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapta Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapta Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dino patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra ma me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra ma me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra ma me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. So be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of your suffering, and the cause of why all of us harm others with our body and our speech. Just imagine all of that's gone, completely finished. And now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is a purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And so imagine this time Vajrasattva sends light and nectar, fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra me me mutsa vajra bawa maha zamaya sapa a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra ma me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra ma me Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Sipokaya Me Bawa 
and erecta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata ahum pe and vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dida me boa zuto kaya me boa supo kaya me boa and erecta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata ahum pe and vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dida me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa and erecta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Satra Ahum Pei. So now feel you are completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. So even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So next is the power of resolve. And so this is a really crucial part of the process. It comes off the back of regret, actually, I think. When you regret something, it means you actually also have an intention to perhaps do something about it. So here we can do something about it. Here we decide we're not going to harm with our body and our speech and our mind. So it's not going to ever be never again because we're habit, we have these habits and we're human. And we're constantly saying, okay, so I'm not going to do this again. And then we just fall down the same hole. But we just have to renew it every day. So say you have a habit to talk about people behind their back and then you just forget. So then just remind yourself very gently that maybe you're going to refrain from doing this. Perhaps I'll just refrain from doing this while I'm sleeping overnight. Something like that. Keep it simple. Give yourself an easy time frame and then you can build on that. And then after a while you realize those neural pathways start to atrophy and you find you're not doing things anymore. And then you can just keep working on all the other bits and pieces that we have. So imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech and mind and Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. So just a little bit on emptiness. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. And so at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a while. So we can think perhaps of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. We can also think that perhaps the way things appear to me, the way I see things, the way I hear things, the way I look at things, may not necessarily be the way they exist, the way I interpret things. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in, happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Tenzin Kyong Pel Away, Kun's a dog poor zay. Chog sum cur away leg mon to a drob. Pa dog sog dulge gone do job ten shog. Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to use kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West. Mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land. We make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. The Geshe share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for hosting, Shayla. Thank you, everybody else who might have been 
um, what are you, what are you, my guardians? No, no, the bouncers. <laughs> the nightclub bouncers. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, we, we were bombed a few times, so now we have bouncers making sure that we're all safe during our meditation, which is very sweet. So thank you very much. Oh, before this evening closes, the recitation have a translation. Ah, well, it is an assemblage of magical sin syllables, yes, but there is a translation. If you want, I can read it to you. Um, does everyone have time? You don't have to stay and listen if you don't want to. Um, the meaning of the mantra, Om. The qualities of Buddha's holy body, speech, and mind, all that is auspicious and of great value. So you can see why we don't do the English version. Vajrasattva, the being who has the wisdom of inseparable bliss and emptiness. Samaya, a pledge that must not be transgressed. Manupalaya, lead me along the path you took to enlightenment. Vajrasattva, Dina Patita, make me abide closer. Uh, Vajrasattva's holy mind. It must be two Vajrasattva's holy mind. Uh, Dido Meboa, please grant me a firm and stable realization of the ultimate nature of phenomena. Sutoshaya Meboa, please grant me the blessing of being extremely pleased with me. Suposhaya Meboa, bless me with the nature of well developed great bliss. And Arakta Meboa, please bless, also bless me with the nature of the love that leads me to your state. Sawasiti Mempi Yatsa, please grant all powerful attainments. Sawakama Sitsame, please grant all virtuous actions. Sitam Shriam Kuru, Please grant your glorious qualities. Hum, the Vajra Holy Mind. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ho, the five transcendental wisdoms. Bhagawan, the one who just destroyed every obscuration, attained all realizations and passed beyond suffering. Savatatakata, all those who have realized emptiness, knowing things just as they are. Vajra Mami Mutsa, do not abandon me. Vajra Bhawa, the nature of indestructible inseparability. Mahasamaya Sattva, the great pledge being, the great being who has the pledge, the Vajra Holy Mind. Ah, the Vajra Holy Speech. Hum, the transcendental wisdom of great bliss. Pay, clarifying the transcendental wisdom of inseparable bliss and emptiness and destroying the dualistic mind that obstructs it. So now do you understand why we don't do the English version? <laughs> Actually, it's Sanskrit, and there oh. is, and it's interesting to be that you said it's magical because it is magical. It's a magical language, and even I mean, in when you hear, if you any of you are doing yoga, some of the maybe some of the chants or some of the chanting that they do in yoga, it it does. They sometimes they do it through the chakras, and so do we as well in Tibetan Buddhism. There you go, Buddhist magic, exactly. So it's somehow there's something to do with the vibration of the sound of these syllables that does impact your being. So we we do are affected on very, very subtle levels that we don't realize why it's really advisable not to get into negative speech, why it's advisable not to watch too much junk on television because we take everything in and we're all really quite, and I mean, I'm, I am the worst person at this. I, I watch all kinds of junk on television, <laughs> read all kinds of muck. So, I mean, but it really is, you know, this kind of stuff is so pure and it's so beautiful and it is kind of magical. And I think for all the people that have been doing this for about the last more than 12 months now, almost 18 months, you may, they may have, I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed difference in your lives, if anything has changed, but it's definitely, I notice how it, it, this practice has definitely changed my life. And all the practices I do have definitely changed. I can feel they've changed my being. So it's just, it takes a long time though. It's slowly, slowly. Um, yes, yeah, Sanskrit. Okay. Anyway, thank you for the question. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. And thanks, everybody. Lots of love. Good night. Thanks for staying. And we are doing the course on Sunday. It's going to be, it's only two sessions, actually, because Venerable Rabina will be in Santa Fe on the 22nd. So um, Venerable Dundrup wanted to leave that space for her to teach and for you guys to stay focused on if you wanted to go to her teaching. So we've we've dropped Sunday. And I do apologize about Yesterday, I was supposed to be going somewhere. I wasn't sure about the internet, and then they cancelled last minute because they lost power. So I didn't do anything. <laughs> it was a completely lost weekend. <laughs> anyway, so we'll do something on Sunday. So all of you for an, uh, from uh, 9, 9, is it 9.30 or 9? 9, 9 o'clock to 10.30 um, Mountain Time. So 10, uh, 
so no, 10 to 11.30 Mountain Time, sorry, 9 to 10.30 uh, Pacific Time and three hours later for everybody on the East Coast. Okay, lots of love, everybody. Good night, sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow.